Unlock the power of your mind. This is Provocative Enlightenment with Eldon Taylor. Well, welcome to another hour dedicated to a fresh inquiry, exploring exactly what enlightenment means and what it might be to be enlightened. Indeed, an hour devoted to learning something more about ourselves. An hour designed to help us integrate all of our knowledge and perhaps even challenge some of our ideas about the world we live in and the people we have become. This is an hour for the open-minded, willing to risk their foregone conclusions and perhaps discover an entirely new dimension in their thoughts and being. I'm Eldon Taylor, and this is Provocative Enlightenment. All right, each week I read a few of your letters as our way of paying homies to the importance you play in our show. Miro wrote, Hello, Eldon. I have finished reading Choices and Illusions and What If, and again, I'd like to thank you for these great books. It really made me think. Thanks a lot and wish you all the best. Well, thank you, Miro. I'm very pleased that you enjoyed the books. What If is a book that people either love or hate. No in-between. The book will send you on a true soul search, and for some, this apparently is just too much. Salima wrote, love your Hay House radio show. You are awesome. Well, wow, thanks, Salima. Isabel wrote, hello, Dr. Taylor. As a psychology doctorate student here in the Pacific Northwest, your show is giving me many ideas for my upcoming dissertation topic. Thank you. Thank you for all that you contribute to the lives of so many. Well, thank you, Isabel, and do keep us informed, both as to your dissertation subject and your findings. Sarah wrote, Thank you for everything you do, Eldon. I listen to your show on Hay House. Your humility and true desire to serve is very inspiring. May we all be as pure in intention. I'm humbled by your words, Sarah, truly. Thank you. I hope to live up to them every day. Lex wrote, I held a long-time belief that in the world that the world is selfish and nothing comes freely. Today you have unsealed that belief system. What are you? Have you been sent by God? Are you an angel in the human form? Why do you have to do this for me? I am absolutely a total stranger in a faraway, distant, remote place from where you are. Why? Please tell me. You proved that the world still has many good people, and you are one of them. I feel like crying. May the blessed God take care of you and your family. You know, Lex, an acquaintance of mine and a fellow radio show host, Steve Maraboli, has coined something I believe in and we have been doing here for many, many years. He puts it this way. The power of one, one good act, one kind gesture, one extra moment, one, and one by one the world changes. You are why we offer free programs, why we do what we do, and your response is my reward. You now have a new faith in your fellow human beings in life, and I know you will share that belief, and that is how the world changes, one person at a time. Thanks for your feedback, Lex. Heather wrote, thank you so much for making these life-enhancing tools available free of charge. Well, you're welcome, Heather. And now for all of you out there in listening land, you too can get your free InterTalk MP3 programs by simply going to eldentaylor.com and choosing free programs from the left-hand navigation pane. We have several titles to choose from or download them all. This is just a part of our own pay-it-forward efforts, so get yours today. Leanne wrote, just heard your interesting show, air on Hay House Radio, and felt compelled to hear what your audio intertalk series is like. Well, cool, Leanne. Then this show is for you, for where we have many free programs, about a dozen, I think. That's not even the tip of the iceberg. There are over 300 programs in our line, and as you'll learn in a moment, you can have access to all of them by simply calling into our show today. Nan wrote, as a certified holistic health coach, I listen to your InterTalk CDs for myself and offer them to my family and clients as a perspective shift toward personal opening and fulfillment with gratitude and sincere thanks. Well, thank you, Nan, for your feedback, and may you and your clients and friends enjoy the very best in everything. Angelica wrote, I am in the early stages of reading your book, What Does It Mean?, and must say that I am thoroughly enjoying it. You have had some remarkable experiences, what my experiences have taught me is that there is no sure way to invalidate that which a soul knows to be true. Signs and messages delivered to an individual are processed from a very subjective place and may not translate well when depicted to others. 
Over the years, I have attempted to share what I interpret as signs with family members only to realize they could not truly partake in what I knew to be real. Well, Angelica, you are welcome to hang out around all of us here at Hay House. We do get it. Thanks for the feedback. And and, and you already have been blessed by those experiences. All right. That's all the time we're going to take for letters, but I do invite you to opine by sending your email to Eldon at EldonTaylor.com. That's E-L-D-O-N at EldonTaylor.com or by joining me on Facebook. You can also just leave comments on my website. I do try to read all of your letters. Obviously, we can't get them all on the air, but they do impact our programming. I highly value your input, and I do encourage you to please provide your feedback. And once again, thank you for your continued support. Now to today's show, inner talk, stories, goals, strategies, and successes. Before I go any further, I want all of our listeners to know that this is sort of a pilot show. Many of you have asked for a show of this nature, so we'll see how it works. That said, here are a couple of things you should know before I continue, sort of the idea or ground rules behind the show. The idea is that every month, one show will feature strategies for success, employing intertalk technology we will answer your questions and every caller who identifies something they wish to change or improve will receive a free intertalk cd or program designed to assist with that ambition so if you wish to be an effective public speaker as an example then our public speaking program is what we'll end up suggesting and ultimately sending to you now you can also share your success story And if you do, choose any CD to be sent to you absolutely free. So if you have an inner talk success story or a goal or ambition, perhaps even a problem or I prefer opportunity that you're working on or both, call into the show and receive your free inner talk solution today. All right, that's the idea. So we'll see how it works. But first, let me share with you what and how inner talk technology and its derivatives work. Whole Brain Intertalk audio and video programs feature pleasant, easy listening music or nature sounds that are specially mixed with positive background affirmations on the chosen self-help topic. The technology is technically called dichotic masking and should not be confused with typical masking methods thought of as subliminal, where the sound levels are drastically lowered to prevent detection of the subliminal content. InterTalk audio programs are very easy to use. They're played in the background on any regular stereo CD player Well, you're working, driving, relaxing, reading, playing sports, watching TV, or even sleeping. They can also be used with a personal CD player while jogging, bike riding, or any other activity. No conscious thought or effort is required to produce the dramatic, positive, and automatic result. InterTalk programs may appear to work like magic, but they're based on new scientific discoveries about how we learn and how we process information and how this affects our everyday life. InterTalk taps into our natural human ability to absorb information even when we're not thinking about it. On the surface, the programs sound like any other easy listening music or nature program, with the exception you do from time to time hear voices in the distance but there is a powerful difference carefully blended in the background are the dynamic affirmations such as i feel good i am successful and so forth and these affirmations make a long-lasting positive impression they actually prime your self-talk your stream of consciousness while the conscious mind enjoys the pleasant music or nature sounds the subconscious mind recognizes and receives the powerful life-changing affirmations all programs come with a list of recorded affirmations and we recommend you review this list once a week or so to monitor your progress results can often be noticed in as little as a few days to a few weeks intertalk technology is so powerful it's patented and backed by independent studies at leading universities even governments and proven effective by millions of satisfied users around the world Now, as with any powerful modality, there can be both relative and absolute contraindications to the use of our programs. For example, a relative contraindication may be the use of a peaceful sleep program while driving. 
Absolute contraindications may exist for persons under the supervision of professional health care providers. If you have a serious health care issue, seek the advice of your health care professional before using one of our programs. That said, InterTalk is not a medical property. It is rather an educational property. Okay, so let's open up the phone lines. We invite you to join us now by calling toll-free 1-866-254-1579. And international callers can dial their country code, then 760-918-4300. All right, Ravinder, I was going to ask you where you wanted to start, but the phone lines are already very busy, so let's just jump in and go to a phone call unless you'd like to add a comment first. No, I will put myself on hold until there's a convenient break for you to take me. <laughs> <laughs> take a phone call. We've got some wonderful phone calls today, so that's actually All right. Well, and, and you've actually had a couple of people write in because they couldn't be here today, and, and I'll give you a chance to cover one or two of those because they deserve their their um, inner talk solution as well. Yes, so let's you. then go to line one and talk to Jen in Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome to the show, Jen. Hi, how are you guys? We're excellent. What can we do for you today? Well, if if I can help anybody by calling in the show today, um, I would just it would just be wonderful and worthwhile. Um, I have found myself to be um, a single mom again. Um, my son, who's three, um, has been diagnosed with autism, and um, I have a, a pattern of, of uh, abusive relationships, and I want to stop this madness, okay, I, I'm over it now, <laughs> and I'm ready to move on, and I wanted to know which one of the programs would be better for me. Well, we actually have a program that I'm going to send to you for your son, and it, it deals with uh, um, accelerated learning and, and concentration oh. and focus, um, and and you know, we have a couple of programs that fit the scenario that you're discussing, Jan. One of them is Forgiving and Letting Go. I'm going to send that to you. That program is always free. But I'm also going to send you a program that is called, uh, especially designed for victims of abuse. It's uh, designed to assist you in, in rescripting that that inner hurt, letting go of that pain, et cetera. So I'm going to send at least three programs to you. Ravinder. Oh, wow. uh, you do a lot of this kind of thing. Do you have an idea that, that I'm overlooking here? No, I think you've got it perfect. The Survivors of Abuse program, I actually think of that as a supercharged esteem program. So I think, for, I mean, I always tell people when we're talking on the phone, don't just go by the title of a program. Take a look at the affirmation. So survivors, of, I mean, I'm not, I don't have an abusive background um, at all, but I have used that program for those times that I'm just feeling way off balance. So it works for more. Okay, than just excellent. That. All right, Jen. So we have three programs that are going to you. You need to stay on the line okay. uh, after I say goodbye to you. And uh, one of our producers, I believe Joe, will take your your shipping details information down, and we'll see that this goes out to you this week. And thanks for thanks. calling. Now, th- there's one other thing I'd ask of you, Jen. Okay, well, Jen, are you there? I'm still here. Okay, there's one other thing I would ask for you, uh, and that's uh, let us know. You know, give us a call or send us a note uh, 30 days down the highway. Let us I know sure how these, these work for you, okay? And- well, that's great. We appreciate you joining us, and we appreciate your support. Good luck in everything. Thanks, Thanks Jen. Jen. All right, thank oh. you. <laughs> All right, let's go to line two. We have Richard right here in my hometown of Spokane, Washington. Welcome to Provocative Enlightenment, Richard. How are you today? I'm good, Eldon. How are you? I'm excellent. What can we do for you, sir? Well, um, we've spoken in the past, uh, you and I, and you know that I'm sort of starting life over again. And uh, yep. what, I'm, what I'm struggling with is uh, um, I'm discovering – um, the, my adult ADD is just really, uh, just really in the way. I mean, even though um, uh, I, I'm working on a, on a direction in a program, and this is kind of a life and death situation. Still sitting down for a lengthy time and really focusing, 
uh, even in even in uh, with an extreme need facing me, it's just it's just tough. And I know you have a program for children with ADD and so on, but I don't. We have a new program for adult ADHD now, Richard. I'm going to send you that, and because you and I have had a conversation, I know where you are. You're an architect, changing life, et cetera, and so forth. I'm also going to send you an eight CD set called Pillars of Success. Um, it's uh, you know that's a two hundred fifty dollar program, Richard. So thanks for calling the show. We'll see now. You stay on the line, uh, and and Joe will get your information, uh, and we'll see that it ships out to you. All right. Thanks. I'm glad you got a new program for adult ADHD. Thanks. Yeah, you're more than welcome, Richard. You got anything else you're going to add to the show? Um, no, I guess what I could say to those listening is that uh, um, I've got a number of your CDs having to do with uh, um, um, self-sabotage and that sort of thing. And I know that uh, I'm facing, uh, experiencing extreme stress, but i got to tell you, I listen to these every day, and um, you know, I'm functioning pretty well. I'm, uh, my attitude seems uh, uh, pretty level, pretty functional, and I'm you know, I suspect listening to these CDs has got to have a large part of that, and I know other people have noticed differences in me as well. So, uh, I got to say thank you, and uh, it's uh, you know, I've, I've, I read a lot, I've done a lot of stuff, trying to do affirmations manually and do them yourself and repeat stuff over and over. I think it seems to me as of some limited success, but these CDs seem to really work. And they get into the inside, so it comes from the inside out. Well, Richard, again, thank you very, very much. We wish you the very, very best. And uh, I know that I'll see you, talk to you, hear from you again soon. Stay in touch. Thanks, Richard. Uh huh. Remember, stay on the line. Okay, let's go to line three. And we have you. uh, It's Lisa, I believe, in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Is it Lisa? Yes. Hi, Lisa. Welcome to Provocative Enlightenment. How can we help you today? I just wanted to share a success story. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I use the excellent posture, both the music and the nature sounds. Uh And I used it, um, I actually used it for a while, but after about five weeks, when I went to my chiropractor appointment, because I go every six weeks, he was so impressed. Like, I didn't tell him I was using anything like this, but he was so impressed with my back, like how much straighter I was standing. And not only that, but when he adjusted me, the, the adjustments went more easily. And then he commented that he noticed more muscle tone in my neck and upper back. And that's the part that impressed me because, I mean, I can understand, you know, thinking that I want to stand up straighter and, and all that, thinking that, but there was an actual physical change to my muscles through these CDs. So I was very impressed. Well, we appreciate you sharing that story with us. And for anyone, everyone out there, I mean, that's that's one I've used myself for precisely the same reason that that you're describing, Lisa, what CD can we send you as our gift? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to be married. I'm single. Do you have anything like that? Attracting the right love relationship. We do. Indeed, we have a four CD set that is all built around uh, relationships. And so uh-huh. that's what we're going to send to you, Lisa. You stay on the line. Wow. And, thank you so much. Oh, it's indeed our pleasure. We're glad you called. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to see you wedding, too. Okay, yeah, I will. did you hear that, Lisa? We want <laughs> the wedding right. invitation, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, have a wonderful one. Be be sure you stay in touch with us. All right, Ravindra, I'm going to give you a chance right this minute to uh, to add to the flavor of this show. What 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 is it you wanted to say that I wasn't giving you the opportunity to say? Seconds. Actually, some of the comments we heard from Rokio, and she said. Just wanted to say thank you so much for the Bruxism CD. After one day, the pain was close to gone, and now, close to two weeks two weeks later, there's no pain. I ended up purchasing the Creative Series, so she has gone on to try more. Rocchio, we talked to you weeks ago, and uh, I recommended the Bruxism because I've used it myself. All right. Okay. okay. Now, what you have to do is find out what it is that she wants is her free CD. I'll we'll pick that. that up. We're discussing the InterTalk technology and how it can be used as a success tool um, in helping you accomplish your uh, objectives. But before we get back to today's show, I want to invite you to like our Facebook fan page for Provocative Enlightenment Radio. As a fan of the show, you will receive special announcements and incentives from time to time as our way of thanking you for your support. 
If you didn't know this show was coming, you must not be a fan because this is uh, one of those opportunities that we see our fans know about in advance. Uh, So, again, I'd encourage you to uh, become a fan of uh, Provocative Enlightenment Radio. I would also like to invite you to join me on Facebook while you're there. And, of course, you can follow me on Twitter. If you like our show, please spread the word. We genuinely appreciate your support. All right. Now, before we get full back into the show... Here's an inner talk program that's a favorite of both Ravinder and I. Indeed, there's quite a long story there. It's kind of a romantic story. We may get to that. We may not. But the program is called Optimism Plus. The music is music I brought back from Germany during the trip that I met my beautiful wife in London, England. So enjoy for just a minute uh, what, what we consider to be one of our favorites, if not our very favorite. back old times it does it does that reminds me of november in las vegas when i first met you i first came over you played that program every single morning we very, all... very romantic but it's also you know um one of my favorite programs for playing when i'm not working on a particular issue of any kind because the affirmations are just perfect we can all use optimism can't we yeah we can all right, well, let's go back to our telephones, and uh, I believe on line five we have Penny from South Carolina. Welcome, Penny, to Provocative Enlightenment. How can we help you today? Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello. Um, I've, uh, I've, I was first introduced to you um, when I bought the, your mind programming book, and I love it. Mm-hmm. Well, um, thank you. And um, I have been a smoker for years and years and years and i just can't seem to to kick it <laughs> and all I right really, penny really i've got the an- i've got the answer for you <clears throat> now this is the deal okay i'm going to send you a book and a four cd set but i want you to understand that you know i'm old enough to remember edward edward r murrow smoking on television so smoking was something everybody did, and I started when I was very, very young. Forty years of three packs a day, and I finally decided, you know, it's time for me to stop. And the programs I'm sending you, what I'm sending you is exactly what I used. And my wife will tell you she didn't even know that I was going to stop until the end of day one that I had decided I was not having a cigarette. And she said to me, you're not smoking. I said, no, I'm through with that. I'm not smoking anymore. So here's what I'm going to tell you, Penny. Okay. And if there are any other smokers on the line, don't go away because I'll see you also get this. I'm going to send you a book. You're going to read the book, but you're not going to stop smoking until you finish reading the book. You're going to have four CDs, and I want you to play the inner talk CD in the background as you read the book. Now, what you're going to find is your cigarettes begin to taste nasty. But I want you to finish that book before you then engage the other three CDs. I promise you, you will stop smoking. Okay? That's Penny, that's you... me. Yeah, I, I, you know, to me, it's magic. It, 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 
You know, it's just a matter of changing context. I've said this so many, many times before. If you think of the saliva in your mouth, you like it. You're glad you have it. You taste it. It tastes good. But if you spit it in a little glass and then think about drinking it back, it suddenly becomes vile. What what smokers need to do is understand that the cigarette is like the saliva in our mouth. We define it as our friend. It tastes good. We like it. It's always there. It, it's what we do with our hands. Ba 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 ba. You know all of that, Penny. Yeah. Uh, when it becomes the spit in the glass that we're thinking about drinking, when we have changed that context, we just don't want it. It's gone out of our lives. It's it's that simple. So, like I say, you, you cannot stop smoking. Please do not until you have finished reading the book I'm sending you. But augment that first inner talk uh, CD when you get it as you're reading your book. And uh, I promise you, you will stop smoking. Now, you remember to call back. Uh, when you finish that book and let us know how this worked for you, okay? I will definitely do that. All right, Penny, you stay on the line, and Joe will get your information. Now, let's Thank go you. to James. James on line six from Texas. How are you today, James? Dr. Taylor, indeed, it's a pleasure and an honor to speak with you. Well, thank you very much. Welcome to the show, sir. It's my pleasure to share with you. So what can we do for you today? Well, uh, like the last caller, I, too, have been using tobacco for many years. And uh, I knew that you were a smoker and uh, a pretty heavy smoker for years and had been able to give it up. And I use lots of peak performance type materials and whatnot, but have never addressed the issue. And Mm -hmm. I am a tremendous tobacco addict. Uh, My wife smokes. I don't smoke. I use the the snuff Mm -hmm. and uh the addict in me says oh you know this was uh so much fun and enjoyable it's the only fun you have and you know all that type of stuff right it it keeps me uh kind of keeps me in the loop with it but as uh diva doc pointed out in the chat room i need to give it up so well james um, i'm going to send you the same set that i'm sending penny plus one program because you're not a smoker that addresses more directly uh, snuff. So uh, I'm going to see that those go out to you right away. Again, I'm going to ask you to do the same thing that I asked Penny to do. Don't stop until you finish reading this book. Now, the book I'm sending is not by me. I happened to stumble on this book, and I laughed at the title when uh, when I saw the book, probably like you will, because it is, uh, it, it, it absolutely says something you will not believe. But I guarantee you, if you follow the book and you use the CDs, you won't have the habit unless you make a new choice. And, and that new choice is, you know, I quit, but I'm going to start again. Because you will quit. You will redefine it all, James. Outstanding. I'm, I think I'm ready. Definitely. Right. I think well, that, you uh, know. Oh, go ahead, sir. I smoked three packs for 44 years, and my wife will tell you that there were many, many things that I just simply wouldn't do because uh, I couldn't have a cigarette. So right. you know, I wouldn't go to a, an indoor movie with a family because I, you know, I'm not going to sit there for three hours without a smoke. That's you know how I put it. Right. Um, the days of criminalistics, you know, the guys I hung out with, coffee and cigarettes. Well, that that was you know, uh, unlike what they paint on television it isn't the donuts that, that the cops are into it's the coffee and the cigarettes you know right uh you're on a stakeout all night long you run some kind of a surveillance you're just chain smoking so the whole idea of giving up cigarettes was truly foreign to me it was the kind of thing that i really procrastinated on for a long long time i i went along with the notion that you know the psychological law of self-exemption. Well, it may bother everybody else, but it won't bother me. And and I had all kinds of rationalizations, justifications. But, you know, my younger son said to me, when I grow up, Dad, I'm going to smoke too. And that was enough for me to really look at it and say, okay, you know, I think I really should quit. And then's when I realized I was addicted. And the idea of just quitting was, you know, 
uh, that was going to be a struggle. So that's why the programs that I'm sending you were created, and and I guarantee you they work. Uh, so, my friend, I wish you the very, very best, and I want you to come back to us and tell us how it worked for you. Oh, I certainly shall. I, I think I, I, I do uh, have a, a quite a bit of your uh, uh, materials and books, uh, Dr. Taylor, and I think that the gentleman that called a few prior will really enjoy the essential pillars. I, it's one of my favorites and uh, outstanding work. Um, I feel really blessed that uh, the day I went into the bookstore and mind programming was just screaming out to me, says, take, it, take me off the shelf. That was indeed a great day. Oh, well, thank you, sir. I'm very, very honored that, uh, that you shared that with us. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased that, uh, that you are you know, such a great supporter. And do me a favor. Please just call me Eldon, will you? Okay, Eldon. All right, James. All right, you stay on the line, leave your details with Joe, and we'll get that all right out to you again. Thanks a bunch for calling. Thanks. All right, we have uh, Solera in Vallejo, California. Sarah, welcome to Provocative Enlightenment. Hello, thank you. How Hi. are you today, and what can we do for you? I'm doing well. Um, I am calling. It's, it's kind of embarrassing. My family is um, they're really abusive and have kind of gone through a lot of psychological um, abuse from them. They're kind of gang-oriented, and they, they feel like, if I don't live by their rules, like, there's just no out. I just, I'm kind of like their doll, you know, like, I don't have my own rights. So I physically have moved in that area. They don't know where I live. I feel like I'm a person in hiding, and I feel like I'm not even living life. I'm so scared in general. I don't know what I would do if I ever saw them. But it's kind of impacted my self-esteem. I feel like I'm self-sabotaging myself. I mean, by standards, I'm successful. I, I've I've done pretty well for myself, but I, I mean, every day I feel like I'm going to get fired. It just like spiraled out of control, mm -hmm. and I, I just want to, I want to feel like I'm participating in life, not just kind of watching it fly by on a movie screen. Gotcha, Sarah. You you you're really looking at a profile that uh, what we have to do is start with a beginning point because. When you say a life of abuse and you define the fear that you're talking about, um, there isn't a quick fix. I just have to tell you that there isn't a quick fix. Yeah. What I am going to do, what I, I, I'm going to suggest to you is this. I'm going to send you four programs. That's where you begin. They will make a difference. Um, they will assuage the anxiety and they will you know, temper or, or minimize the amount of fear. And, and they will deal with self-sabotage and esteem issues. But you, I, I'm sure that once you find that you have moved through that, then there are going to be other things you're going to want to deal with because you're apt to have some deep-seated anger that's manifesting today more as fear than anger. You're also going to want to heal that wounded child that's inside. And you may well, you know, most victims of abuse tend to blame themselves, feel that maybe they did something to deserve it. You may well have those issues uh, surface later as well, but let's deal with what you what you just described to us. All right. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you four CDs, and actually it's eight because I send it to you in music and nature, and that would that's true for everybody we've talked to today. You're going to get a, a title for esteem. You're going to get a title for fear. You're going to get a title for abuse, and you're going to get a title for self sabotage. Now this is what I'd like you to do. I want you to alternate using them all four of them, every day for 30 days. Now, when we have run dosage relevancy studies, what we find is that 30 days seems to be the magic point where if you've used them a minimum of an hour a day, we get sufficient accumulation that on psychometrics we can measure a pre and post difference of statistical significance. So that's why the 30 days, okay? Okay. Uh, you know, choose the title that you're going to sleep to. I want you to sleep to one of these titles on repeat, playing all night long. Uh, initially, based on what you're telling me, I would alternate between fear and abuse in the very beginning as my all-night-long program, okay? Play it in the nature soundtrack. 
So, you know, maybe put the music in your car or if you drive a lot, commute or in your kitchen or someplace, put the nature near your bed or around your television so you can play it while you're watching TV or all night while you sleep. And then call us in 30 days. Will you do that, Sarah? I will. I will do that. All right. They're on their way to you. You stay on the line, and uh, my wonderful producer, Joe, will get all your information, okay? Thank you so much. Hey, thank you for calling. We'll talk to you again in 30 days. Okay. All right. Ravinder, I'm going to give you a chance. You've got some coming out of the chat room. The lines are lit. We'll get back to them real quick, but go ahead. You can give me give me a couple out of your chat room, and let's make sure that they get recognized. Okay. Um, we, the conversation is hot and heavy in the chat room. Trying to keep up with it um, is lots of fun. Kim says, can you ask Eldon what can help with monkey mind and making changes for many years of codependency? Seems my mind will not quite down, and thoughts seem to be all over the place. Two things, miracle-mindedness and codependent patterns. Now, the codependent patterns we're going to send to you, Kim, in two versions. One is a what we call Echotech. That is a special technology that alters brainwave activities, also incorporates the InnerTalk uh, affirmation system. Uh, so you'll use a set of headphones, you'll close your eyes, assume a supine position, do this two or three times a week uh, for the first 30 days. It, the, the program itself takes about 25 minutes. The uh, other codependent program coming to you is an intertalk program. You just play it in the background, uh, just like we have discussed with all the intertalk programs. The Miracle Mindedness program will assist you in monkey mind. Uh, I think you'll you'll find that uh, to be a pretty powerful program for that. And that comes, again, in both the music and the nature. And, you know, I would suggest that you use one or the other, the codependent or the miracle-mindedness, all night while you sleep. We do know that that's an effective way to utilize the programs, not that all the time you're sleeping works for you, but that during our sleep cycles we have a period, typically it's that dream sleep uh, cycle, that REM cycle, four of them for the average adult in an eight-hour night, where the, you know, our brains for all intent and purposes are operating on what we think of as an alpha state of consciousness. We come up out of the deep sleep. We're in this, uh, this state that is the state of hyper-suggestibility. If you were um, to be in that state, alpha, while you had been talked into it, say, through hypnosis, uh, and in that period, the mind is particularly porous and, and some genuine sleep learning can take place. So that, Kim, my suggestion for you. All right, right, let's. Uh, you, got, you have another one, Rav? I have a question here from Terry M. And she says, so the volume setting isn't important with inner talk programs. That's her question. So it's basically how high a volume do you need to play the programs at? Well, what you want to do is play the program so that you can easily hear uh, the soundtrack. Um, it doesn't have to be turned up so loud that it interrupts anything, but it needs to be, you know, if I turn my attention to it, I easily hear it. Uh, the way we put the affirmations in and the dichotic masking they're there, and they're on top of the soundtrack. The reason you don't hear them is a part of what I think of as an audio illusion. It's how the brain processes information. You're receiving both simultaneously forward and reverse information that's channel uh, differentiated for hemispheric purposes. So uh, what you want by way of volume is enough volume that I can comfortably hear what's being played. Okay, let's go back to our phones because we've only got about five minutes. We have Sharon in Sumter, South Carolina, on line seven. Sharon, welcome to Provocative Enlightenment. How may we help you today? Well, thank you, Eldon. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, uh, it's our I, pleasure to have you. Thank you. I got two of your CDs. I got Forever Thin, Fit, and Healthy and Stop Self Sabotage, and have managed to lose over 20 pounds. Fantastic. Uh, the, now I've hit a plateau where I don't seem to be moving, and I'm starting to get impatient, and that's disastrous for someone trying to lose weight, I think. Is that what we're still doing, losing weight? 
Oh, yes, sir. We have another probably 30, 40 pounds to go. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to send you metabolism to melt fat away. We're going to send you exercise. And we're going to send you procrastination. If you're thinking about not playing those CDs or giving up that diet, I guarantee you won't be thinking about it long. Okay? (laughs) Thank you, sir. Oh, it's indeed our pleasure. Thanks for calling, Sharon. Uh, We're glad to have you as part of our listening audience. Stay on the line. Joe will. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I said I'm glad to be here. Oh, great. Stay on the line. Joe, get your details for us. All right. Okay. Let's. You're welcome. Let's jump to Beth in Calgary, Alberta. Welcome to Provocative Enlightenment, Beth. You can hear me okay? I can. Okay, um, I'm I'm fairly new um, to uh, to Hay, Hay House radio programs and that kind of thing, but this really, really is interesting to me. And I think um, uh, my concern today was was going to be uh, food addiction. Um, not that I I have a lot to lose at the moment, but I gained 10 pounds, and it's and it causes a lot of fears to rise up because I I went away from a program that I was in. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, that kind of thing. And also, I think because of the food addiction and and the preoccupation with food, it certainly interrupts my uh, journey of enlightenment. And um, and I have a lot of insomnia, and I have a really large life change going on uh, in my life, uh, financial downsizing, geographical change, and career change, and uh, husband on disability, and all these things. Um so I don't know if something that you're talking about can all encompass that kind of thing or um, or what I'd be looking at. Well, once again, you know, you, you've you got multiple issues here, and sometimes what we try to do is take on too many things at one time. That frustrates us. We give up as a result of it. Uh, you know, so what I'm going to suggest to you is you know, I'm sure you were told as a part of this group that if you ever left the group, you would gain weight. And so you yeah. have that in the back of your mind. And, you know, that I, I find that kind of thing irresponsible. So I'm going to send you a 4-CD weight set. Now, for the sleep, I'm sending you a Sleep Soundly program. Uh, use those two programs 30 days. In 30 days, call me. We'll have another one of these shows. And, and then we can look at taking on this issue of, of downsizing and, and maybe the instability and the fear that goes with that, et cetera. Does that sound make sense to you, Beth? That does, and it's very generous. All right. I think everybody liked this show, so it looks like we'll be doing this again next month. So remember that. Uh, and I'm afraid we've just come to the end of, uh, of our time. Ravinder, you got maybe 10, 15 seconds of something you want to say? Thanks for coming. This has been a fabulous show. All right. I want to thank you all for being here, and I hope you'll join us again next week. Until then, wherever you are in the world, remember, believing in yourself always matters.